Again, I'm Linda King Pruitt. Thank you. You know, my daddy used to love to tell stories about growing up with his 18 brothers and sisters. Wow. Oh, yeah. Now, they moved all over the place, and everywhere they went, they found adventures. They found adventures in Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Missouri. And this is a story about a Christmas in Missouri. My daddy said it was cold that December. It was so cold that one of Granny King's chickens froze to death sitting by the fireplace. They patched up little chinks and a, and a bigger hole in the wall by the fireplace and it, it got a little bit warmer. You know, and they had enough kids out there chopping firewood and bringing it in that there was always a fire going in that fireplace, but they still had to layer on their clothes inside the house just to stay warm. It got colder. About a week before Christmas, the temperature dropped. Nobody was going anywhere in that little town. Granny King had enough food in the pantry that she knew she'd be able to get dinner on the table for her family, but she was getting worried because it was getting close to Christmas and she wanted something nice for Christmas dinner. So the day before Christmas, she sent my daddy and one of his older brothers out to hunt up a turkey that she could roast for Christmas dinner. My Uncle Oren and my daddy got their rifles and they set out, but it was cold. It was so cold that they had to kick a hole in the air just to get outside. Ah. And as they walked along, the air kind of crackled around them like, you know, like it would sound when you step on a frozen mud puddle? So they kept going, and it got colder still until they finally had trouble just breaking through the frozen air. And, and that's when they, they decided that if there were any turkeys out there in this cold, they were not about to show their faces, so they turned around and headed back home. They were just about, just about home. They could see the house, but they stopped at the pine tree at the front of their property because they couldn't believe their eyes. Right there at the top of the tree was a big fat turkey. They reckoned it was just a present from Santa Claus. Well, my daddy, he upped his rifle and aimed and turned loose. But there was total silence. No bang from the gun, just silence. It was so cold that the sound of the shot froze in the air before it reached their ears. And the bullet, the bullet only made it about 10 feet from the, from the barrel of that rifle before it, it started losing traction in the frozen air and it started sliding back towards them and my daddy yelled, duck, and Uncle Orr and Daddy ducked just in time. Uh, that was about it. It was starting to get dark anyway, so they went ahead in the house. Took their gloves off and went up to the fireplace and put their hands up there to warm up. It was cold, but they couldn't feel anything. They could bend their fingers so they, they knew their hands weren't frozen, but they couldn't feel any heat either. And then one of the little kids noticed that the flames in the fireplace weren't moving. It was so cold that the fire in the fireplace had frozen solid. Those, Yahweh, those flames just stood there like, like upside down icicles glowing kind of orange. Well, my daddy reached in and he snapped off one of those big flames and Granny King let out a holler, but he just laughed and said, doesn't burn. He said it was just kind of a little bit heavy and smooth and a little bit slippery. One of the little girls wanted to hold it, so he handed it down to her and it slipped right out of her little hand, fell on the floor, broke into a hundred pieces. Each little chip of fire was down there on the floor, glowing orange, yellow, pale blue. And Grandpa King kind of laughed and said, you know what that reminds me of? Christmas lights, like the well-to-do folk put on their Christmas trees. And he looked at my Granny King and said, Louise, we may not be having a turkey dinner for Christmas, 
and we may not be as warm as we want to be, but by golly, we're going to have a Christmas tree with lights just like the well-to-do folk in town have. He got out a ball of twine and started cutting off little pieces, and then he started tying that string around each little frozen chip of fire. And soon everybody joined in, all the kids. And then they gathered up all those little pieces of frozen fire and walked out front to that tree. The little kids started hanging their pieces all around the bottom of the tree and those, those tall king boys reached those long arms up and got all the higher branches. And when they were done, they just stood back admiring it. And I'll tell you, with, with the stars twinkling down on that tree and all those little frozen flames glowing, it was the prettiest sight you could imagine. They stood there for a while, and they sang some Christmas songs, and, and you know, after a while, they, they felt better. So they all went inside, climbed under their beds, under mounds of Granny King's quilts, and soon those little kids were all fast asleep and, and dreaming about Santa Claus and his reindeer. Early the next morning, they were scared out of bed by a loud bang! Grandpa King jumped out of bed yelling, who the heck is going to be shooting at us on Christmas morning? But my daddy figured it out right away. You see, the, the cold had let up some during the night, and in the warmer air, his shot from the day before had thawed out and the sound finally hit him. Wow. Well, Grandpa King had run to the front door and threw it open and saw that pine tree ablaze because all those little frozen bits of fire had thawed out too. And one more time they all gathered around outside around that pine tree and they, they watched it burn and it's just a Christmas miracle it didn't catch on to the house. They stood there and Granny King's little nose started twitching. And pretty soon everybody's noses were twitching, sniffing because there was a delicious smell in the air. They followed their noses straight up to the top of that tree and that fire had cooked the turkey in the top of the tree, roasted it to a perfect golden brown. Grandpa King got a big long stick and knocked that bird out of the tree. And you know, my daddy always said that that was the best Christmas dinner ever and well, if that wasn't the truth, it should have been. <laughs>